Hello there, this is Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I have some Ken Oliver Crafts, <laughs> one's jumping, color bursts, and I think this is the basics, uh, brights, I guess is what that's called, and they had a deal with on them uh, on Amazon, so I thought I would try them. I've only had the liquid metals before, but I wanted to try the pigment powders and see how I like them, because I thought I could make a pretty sheet and then use it for different die cuts and things on cards. So I guess we just... Oh, look at that. I guess you could tap it. Some was in the cap there. It's nice that only a little bit comes out at a time. They're supposed to be highly pigmented, I think. Concentrated power powder. And it's the kind of thing that's kind of nice to play with because you don't know what you're going to get. So it's, uh, oh, that's like a nice rusty. So it's kind of a mystery. Which is fun. Whoop. Whoa. <laughs> that's going to be a lot, folks. <laughs> I just opened them up from, they were just delivered in the post, and they apparently got some powder inside the cap there, so be aware of that. Might have to stick some more of the other stuff in here to balance that out. Just add water. And the magic happens. Look at that. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Fun. Woo. <laughs> like, woo. It's like candy. It's like Willy Wonka. Where have you been all my life? Oh my goodness. And as we get to the little bits, look how that really is quite amazing. How fun. Wow, how lovely. I don't know if that's showing up on camera, but it's all very like uh, quartz like or, or you know what I mean, like mineralized rock. Um, that is stunning. I was going to do this in my art journal, and I chickened out, and I thought, well, I'm going to do it on a big piece of paper. <laughs> this is Kansan mixed media paper, by the way, and a little warpage, but I got it pretty wet when I did that. But, um, that's cool. And then you can do lots of things on top there. What happens when we wet it again? We can still move it around, so it reactivates. That is a lot of fun. You could die cut bits out. Or you cut these down, use these as a backgrounds, or just little shapes and whatnot. Hmm. So I'm just going to go ahead and spritz. Oh, look, I've already got uh, from my hand. <laughs> uh, it's highly potent, so um, so I've wet the paper a little bit, and now I'm going to go in with this blue. I'll hold it upright first because there was some in that cap. And then look at that. So as that hits the um, the page there, I put way too much. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. You can't have a heavy hand here. Um, as you put that onto the wet page, you begin to get these feathering, feathering bits here. This yellow. So I guess this is a more controlled version in a sense because you're putting it, you know where you think that you want it to go based on the wetness and what the other color is doing. I'm sure I had a lot of water over there. And just the tiny little peripheral bits can really are really highly pigmented so you really get a bang for your buck with this because um, yeah, that's cool. I'm not going to leave that like that. 
Okay, so where I dropped that big blob, look at that, I got a neat bubble up there, which is a great effect if that's what you're going for. I wasn't, I made a mistake, but look at the great swirls you get from there. That's like fun. <laughs> Sorry for my, huh, that's like fun. Um, but it is, it's like a kid in a candy store. It's like those lollipops. I'm not a big lollipop fan eating wise, but I like to look at them, those swirly lollipops, those big ones with the sort of candy cane, candy store-esque lollipops, and this just reminds me of that. Oh, that has a lot of potential. Uh, yeah. All right. So, I think with this one, I'm going to make some paper strips on the back of that. I'm going to use some wide um, tape. You could use sheets of Stick It and uh, put it on the back of this and then just trim it down to whatever you want. I'm going to follow the path. It's about an inch thick, that tape. And I'm just going to follow the yellow brick road here. And I'm going to save all those bits because um, because we can. Now I have a little tape that's like this that I can use. Look at that vibrant color. That'll be super cool in a journal. And I keep, I know I've done a Davenport, Jane Davenport tape video, and I keep all those together. And then when I'm doing things, if I, it's like my washi stash. If I want to just go ahead and, and uh, grab from there, then I do. I'm going to put that in there. Okay, and I'm just lining up the edge of the tape, or you can line up to the one inch mark because it's one inch tape, if that's what you're using. So you can use thinner tape. You can use these for banners and things on cards. Um, it'll help if I put my tape on straight. <laughs> uh, what happens when your brain's cold? Look at all the fun, fun things we're getting. Now I've got some sticky tape at the ready that I can use for whatever, in my journals, and my cards, and my layouts, uh, what have you, and that is super cool. Um, you could seal this if you didn't want to um, activate it with anything. You can also, uh, you know, you could spray it with... Um, hairspray or something on the front or whatever. Um, you could also add some glitter pens to it or something. Um, you could add Winkastella. You could follow some of these little grain lines here that um, have already kind of shown up on your paper. And kind of make it like that rock with the quartz through it. Um, that is uh, got shiny bits there. Do whatever you want with it, but just it's a fast way to do some DIY. It's a fast way to get some creative work done when you don't necessarily have a plan and you want to play around in your craft room. Sometimes we just like to play, play with our toys, right? And uh, hopefully that's showing up on camera. It's really cool in person. Um, and I just used a purple glitter pen. Um, I had a review on these and my camera uh, bit the dust there. The video ate it. <laughs> Not ate it, but you know what I mean. It got lost in the world of cyberspace. But this adds a glittery texture to there that hopefully you're seeing. And uh, that's another way to add some pizzazz to your stash. So, all oh, that's fun. Super cool. All right, guys, thanks so much uh, for watching. Um, I guess I'm just playing around here with these color bursts. And um, it's, it's nice. We haul some of these items, and then we don't... Um, we sort of put them away and don't play with them, so I think it's important to make sure that we're playing. Thanks so much, guys. Please uh, hit like and subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for joining me today and spending your time with me. Bye-bye.